so much slang and syrup, and it's been funny to see how even from the West Coast to the East Coast, it's different. And then if you go from the West Coast to Hawaii, it's different. And then Australia has their own dictionary of surf slang words. So it's kind of been fun when you meet traveling surfers to pick up little tidbits from them, and then you get to reintroduce those to your friends. And you know, you, know, you always want to be on the cutting edge of surf slang. We're all trying to reach a, a level of professionalism to, you know, to match the professionalism that we're seeing in the lineup and in surfing in general. Um, you know, I think we all still like to have some fun with it, and there are certain times and heats where funny things happen that you know you can't help but laugh and throw in some kind of more loose surf terminology. Gosh, stoked, froth, psyched, gnarly. Uh, that was sick. Uh, that was so dirty. Shredding, ripping. Um, you hear the, word, the, the term frothing a lot when you're just really excited to go surfing. Froth for us can be a lot of things. It's like the excitement to wake up in the morning and go surf. Uh, sometimes you need to build the froth if, uh, if you want to surf in the afternoon when you've had a long day at work. You can go off the deep end with your broisms, frothmeister, uh, you know, frothability. Just like combining words I think is a big thing in surfing and it makes it sound really kooky and fun. Slam, you know, kook slam is a big one. Cooked it, and you can cook it on the highway, you can cook it pouring your coffee, you can cook it in many ways, but especially in the water. I try to make it fun, informative, but definitely for all audiences, and I think you have to be aware of not using some of those heavy surf slang words to, to ensure that you do that. I also think it sounds more professional. I think it's important to know your audience when you start using surf slang, um, especially when it comes to business too, because a lot of, from where I'm at, whether it's the WSL or electric, we're all passionate surfers. So if someone who's not from the surf industry or the surf culture comes into a conversation, the reaction we usually get is like, can you guys just pause for a minute? We have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it depends. Like, I feel like if you come in from surfing and you're angry, you did it wrong. <laughs>